I mean, it's 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 exciting. It's it's humbling. It's it's everything we've worked for, you know. And and it just it shows the strength of of this movement. It shows the strength of the progressive movement overall. And it shows that this district was ready for change, you know. In the same way, uh, they told us in the very beginning, you know, before we uh, officially launched our campaign, we continued to hear it was time for a change. It was time for a change, and people have been excited for an entire year. And uh, you know, they 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 spoke they spoke loudly tonight with their votes uh, so far. Not just tonight, but early voting. So we had early voting for about a week, and then we had tonight. So. Uh, yeah, you know, it's uh, it feels good, it feels good. So uh, Jamal, uh, what do you think made the biggest difference in, in what people would have perceived? Certainly when we, you and I first talked uh, as a giant upset uh, victory here. Well, I think it's, um, you know, we have an incredible team. Um, our team is just second to none. I mean, they're like the, the 92 dream team. I mean, they're, they're, they're unbelievable. And our our ground game and our field game was strong from the very beginning, and we targeted you know all communities, but specifically the most ignored, the most marginalized, the most disenfranchised. We wanted them to know from the beginning that they're a part of this process and they're a part of this movement, and we need them not just to win an election, but move this country forward. So I would say the team overall and. Specifically, the ground game. Um, I think I think got us to this point. So Jamal, you're just Democrat as AOC is now. Marie Newman has also won. She's also just Democrat. Uh, are we are we going to get a squad 2.0 here? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we we certainly hope so. And uh, you know, we still got more work to do, man. I mean, there are other elections going on across the country. I haven't gotten to look at other results. And uh, you know, we will see. You know, hopefully 2.0, and then 4.0, and 6.0, and we keep growing exponentially within the next few years. We don't want to wait 20 years for the dramatic change that needs to happen. It needs to happen, you know, sooner rather than later. Exactly. So let me ask you the last couple of questions here. Uh, what, what, if you're going to Congress soon, as it looks like, uh, what, what what are you going to prioritize? Uh, same thing we've been prioritizing from the very beginning, uh, racial and economic justice through Medicare for all, through a Green New Deal, through fully investing in our public schools, through infrastructure, through investing in healthcare in a way where we, where we hire more nurses and have the resources necessary to provide exemplary healthcare. And just fighting for those who have been disenfranchised and ignored. That's what we focused, focused on from the very beginning. That's not gonna stop, that's not gonna change. And thankfully the squad is already there and Congresswoman Jaya Pyle and many others who have already gotten the ball rolling in many directions. Uh, I hope to add my education expertise to some of the conversation and, uh, and get right to work. So Jamal, uh, they, of course you have the Progressive Caucus, which you're likely to join, but the Progressive Caucus also has some non-progressives in it. If there was a, a smaller, more coherent caucus that was gonna vote uh, strictly progressive, uh, let's perhaps call it the Justice Caucus, uh, would you join that? I don't know, man. You got me speculating on starting a new caucus after we <laughs> we ain't even win the election yet. Like, <laughs> give me a minute to you know soak it in, and then I'll I'll reflect on the new caucus after I get to Congress and see how things work. Uh, Jamal, right. what is your re-election strategy looking like right now? <laughs> <laughs> do the job. Show up and do the job. How about that? If I do the job, I'll be re-elected. Jamal, one last thing. You know, when you started, you were a massive underdog, uh, and and uh, we were there together. And uh, but and then at some point, it looked like, oh my God, you could win. What was that point for you? Do you remember when you thought, holy cow, I think I think we might get this thing? I mean, quite honestly, I thought that from the beginning. You know, I never saw myself as a massive underdog, and with the team we had around us, I didn't think we were underdogs at all. Maybe they felt that way and didn't tell me, but uh, <laughs> I, but I felt like we always had a chance. We always had a shot. All right, well that's the winning attitude that got you here. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, y'all, um, so I gotta run, y'all. Yeah. Peace and love. Speak, Congressman Jamal Bowman. Thank you. All right, you. thank you so much. Appreciate it. Okay. Hey guys, all of you that have ever contributed a buck or anything to TYT or these candidates.
you might have started something. You might have started something. So here we are. And you know, the great thing about starting something is you don't even necessarily need to finish it. Um, so the ball, and don't get me wrong, I, I mean, we're going to finish this thing. We're going to get the legislation. If you don't get the legislation, you didn't do anything. Because it isn't about Jamal, it isn't about AOC, it isn't about any of us. It's about passing those bills to change your lives, okay? Uh, but sometimes think, things take on a momentum of their own. And so you don't necessarily have to keep uh, you know, personally participating. I want you to, don't get me wrong. I'm, not, I'm doing the opposite of trying to dissuade you. I want you to come on. I want you to come on uh, to the team and to help in every way that you can. But you know, you plant a seed and you know, you could leave and come back and find a mighty oak. And so, um, you know, we, we've got a couple of mighty oaks. And so soon we might have a forest. And, uh, and, and I think that uh, we might have begun to change the world. Uh, because, you know, what America does is so monumental. I mean, climate change is a perfect example of it. We're either going to lead our way out of this mess or we're, you know, as we did under Trump, we're going to go backwards under uh, or stay in neutral as we did under the establishment. But can you imagine? I mean, let's whisper a dream of a world where America is the progressive light, uh, the progressive shining city on a hill, and we lead the world into solving problems rather than creating problems. And and if you in any way helped, volunteered, donated, whatever it is to any of these candidates, causes, groups, etc. Well, um, you're the one who got that started. And, and you had a role and you planted a seed. So here comes Jamal Bowman, here come Justice Democrats, and uh, and you were here from the beginning. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun, but you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.